When Cindy Halk wants to feel close to her brother. In my quiet moments when I feel like I need to talk to him, <laughs> I do then. She goes online to a website memorial. Oh, I just see a loving, really neat person. Her brother Jack was an accomplished surfer and artist. Here's another picture of a board that he designed. Too young and it seemed too healthy to suddenly die of a heart attack. Uh, my brother went out for a jog and collapsed and died of a massive heart attack. Um, that was my first indication that there's got to be something wrong. You know, if Jack was so healthy and he died, what could I possibly have? When a surfer dies, uh, they do something called a paddle out. Cindy had been ignoring what was becoming a tragic family legacy. And this is my dad. He was a pitcher for the Phillies. Her father, a professional baseball player, all but one of his brothers, several other family members, and Cindy's brother all died of heart disease. It's like everything else. You just don't think it's going to happen to you. And I don't know if that's being ignorant or just really believing, you know, you're healthier than that. But since Jack passed away and my cousins and I all just felt that was a real big sign that we all needed to really heed the lesson. That lesson, an appointment with a cardiologist. She found out she had high cholesterol. An EKG test which measures a heart's electrical activity was abnormal. So was a test measuring blood flow to her heart. This and her unique family history of heart disease prompted her cardiologist to order a cardiac catheterization, a procedure that injects dye in the coronary arteries to check for blockage. And the blockage is right here. Dr. H.B. Karunaratna with Florida Hospital is Cindy's cardiologist. She had a blocked artery in her heart and not uh, any artery, but the most important of the three arteries in her heart was significantly blocked. And uh, the likelihood is that even though she was asymptomatic, she would have had a heart attack in the fu uh, near future. The procedure to clear her blocked artery was a success. And Cindy's also doing her part. So it'll be the chicken, the vegetables, fresh fruit, and if we have rolls, there'll be whole wheat. She's cooking healthier to help keep her bad cholesterol levels low. Thanks to her cardiologist, she's learning a lot about her heart health, especially when it comes to women. Statistics show heart disease is the number one killer of women. Heart experts say compared to men, symptoms can be different and subtle, such as jaw pain or flu-like illness, and can happen later in life. But experts say many risk factors, such as smoking, weight, and diet, can be managed. Don't ignore it. Don't think that um, it can't happen to you. Because it can. No. You have not had any muscle pains, have Nothing. you? No. Cindy and her cardiologist have partnered with one goal, improve her heart health. She sought medical advice and treatment, and she has followed the advice very effectively. And actually, we have been able to reduce all her risk factors to a very low level. Oh, yeah. Because of her family history, her sons will also there see right. Dr. Karuna Ratna. I want to be here. I'm sad that my brother's not here to oh, see wow. them. I'm sad that my father's not here to see them. I want to see it all. I want to be here for it all. And to think that I was on the verge of missing out on all of that because of just ignorance, you know, kind of, it makes me, it makes me think like I was really ignorant. I really was. I wasn't paying attention. I wasn't being proactive. It took her brother's heart attack death to see a cardiologist. Due to my brother, unfortunately his death, I am alive. And it's, um, he gave me a wonderful gift, a gift of life.